Howdy everybody, it's Friday, uh, it's coming into the 4th of July weekend, just wanted to show you the project I'm working on. Uh, I got my brothers, Kelvin and Craig, and my mom actually is coming up this weekend, so Craig's out there working right now, you can hear him, but, come on, I'll flip around, flip -a -rooskies. so this is where the pigs are going to go. We're working on clearing this whole woods up so we can get a fence around it. Um, he's working on that big, well there's two actually in there, two big mangled trees. We're cutting those out. Um, we've already kind of started clearing the edge. My brother brought up his grapple. We got that on the skid steer. That thing's pretty cool looking. Staying near half the size as the skid steer. <laughs> so, yeah, we started working down this lane right here. We got some of that cleared out. We got plenty of trees in the middle. Clear out. Let's see if I can get the camera set up somewhere and maybe get a time lapse of it or I'll take videos now and then our progress coming along but I don't know how much memory I have left in my phone so I might not be able to take a time lapse video so this is kind of what we're working with Just get a nice before this is sectioned off for the cows through here so we're gonna put a fence six foot on that side so we can drive around the fence cow fence goes to see that wooden post it goes down and around this and then back out the front so all the way around here we're gonna have six foot in between the pig fence and the cattle fence so we can drive around but yeah this is uh our weekend project here. Looks like he's got one coming down. Just getting these two trees out of the way is gonna make it look so much better. Some heavy winds came through. We've actually had quite a few wind storms this past winter and spring. Even this summer we've had some some doozies, thunderstorms and just topples trees, takes the tops of them, pushes them right over. So. See if we can zoom in on the Kreger. He's in there somewhere. The elusive Kreger. He makes a lot of noise. Not that hard to find. Sounds like he's pinching up somewhere. So now that one's down mostly all the way. This one here is going to come out next. We're trying to push everything inside. So that way we don't have to pick up so many sticks. If we drop them on the lawn, the sticks need to get picked up. So let me walk around the other side here so we can get a, a view of how it looks from this side. There's the Kreger in there. See that one's marked. Not sure about this big long tall one here. It's, I didn't mark it near to Jody, but Craig's trying to get me to take it down. <laughs> I think we got enough trees to cut down. We might just stay down for last, see how it looks. Kind of grown crooked when that other tree came down. There's 
Some branches, some limbs that got tore off and it's all skinned up. But, so this is how she looks from this side. Got the other, got the other fence over here for the cattle. There's the wooden post. This is where we're gonna come. We're gonna come behind this propane tank here and then just shoot a line down. Come over here, stay six foot off of this fence so we can get a buggy around the whole pig fence. But got a little bit of cleaning out to do. So gotta go pick up the post hole digger this evening. And got the gate posts and the corner post to do. So five, five or six, depending upon where I'm gonna put my gate. I might put the gate towards the corner so I can use one of the corner posts as the other end of the gate. If I put it in the middle of the fence, I'm gonna need two wooden posts for it. So that's that.